Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspiredbydreams.shop. Part two. Let's get it. Early there for you, guilt trip you into thinking that you have to be so there for them and be going above and beyond to please them you don't you don't owe them anything they owed it to you and if they failed okay but you don't owe them anything and don't let them guilt trip you into believing that you should put everything that was done and said to hurt you aside to please them and to help them have an enjoyable life it's not your job to make sure that they are taken care of happy or anything else especially if they did a poor job at making you a happy child now that you are an adult they see you as someone they can use now because now they need the help and you don't owe it to them and if you don't feel like dealing with them have to don't let nobody else guilt trip you especially them into thinking that you have to be there for them because you absolutely do not i feel like parents who don't help their kids get the, get a car you don't help pay for school you don't help them in any form of fashion with adulting and they're freshly 18 and shit you know just growing up and shit like i feel like that is just like really bogus y'all will be the same ones they pay and put themselves through school expecting something after they graduate why do you feel like mother when well, you didn't even have any money put towards a car or a school like i really feel like that is just crazy to me i feel like you're not old shit and the fact that y'all be the same parents that are trying to charge y'all kid knowing damn well you can't pay for a motherfucking book for school or help them get a car or did you even think to start their credit off? Y'all don't even be them type of parents. Be the same parents with y'all handouts like a mother owe you something. And all you did was bring life. Did no, no knowledge, nothing. <laughs> oh, my bad. You kept them fed. Clothes on their back. Let me add that in there for y'all get the crime. But yeah. Uh, I feel like... Okay. Before we go any further, all I could say is don't turn into the person that you don't want to be like. Don't turn into that person. Just learn from your upbringing and the things that you don't like, you keep. And you reverse that and never treat people that way. I want to talk about enough in the black community is how parents, how our parents really did be raised with us. And, 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 and then as soon as we turn 18, it's instantly that we are adults and we need to be contributing to the household. Do you know that's only in the black community? Where if you if you 18 years old, one, or, or not even 18, but just a working age, one, one, you're going to get a job, okay? You're going to get a job, period. And then two, you're going to contribute to the household. Like, I was, I was 16, 17, old ass paying light bills. You know what I'm saying? Conceptively, not like one here or there. Like, you pay the light bill now type of shit, you know what I'm saying, like, real shit, I, I'm paying my own phone bill, you know what I'm saying, anytime I need uh, this, that, necessity, soap, whatever, I'm bringing tissue home, I owe this shit, off of $90 a week, I was working at Kroger, I was a bagger, see what I'm saying, as soon as I got a job, things instantly changed to where now I'm, I'm, I'm a breadwinner, right, so I could bring home money and I could bring home things, right, that's a problem in the black community with parents, we, we, I don't know what it is, but like, parents treat us like, we owe them for raising us. Like, I'm just gonna call it what it is. Like, they real deal. Do anybody got parents like that? They act like you real deal owe them for raising you. Like, real shit, like, like, no matter what you do, it's, it's absolutely never enough because you owe me your life because I brought you here. First of all, you was out having fun. I was not playing. Okay? You was out having sex and I came about. Like, please don't act like you really sat down and thought this shit through. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever want my child to feel like she's a burden to me. Or then when she becomes an adult, now it's her, it's her time to, to, to raise me. 
to give me things, shower me with things, to, to be the adult in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like instantly hit her like this. She's 16. She getting a little, a little job at McDonald's. Oh, you got money now? Oh, you going to pay the bill. That's yours, buddy. Bring home some tissue when you get off work. Make sure you get your own soap. And if you need some shoes, buddy, save up. You know what I'm saying? You want a cell phone. Girl, you got a job. That's, that's, that's the black community. I'm not raising my child like that. I'm not raising my child like that. She is not a burger. She don't hold me for raising her. And that's just what it is. And like, if you, I mean, we need to speak out, black people. Like, raise your hand if you got parents that act like you owe them for raising you. Some parents have more empathy and understanding for literal animals than their own children. Imagine you are a gardener and you are growing a tree, right? Because and just on another note, pets do get a whole lot of love. Because you love gardening and you're planting this tree from a very little seed and you give it care, you give it love, you give it nourishment. And every single day, every single year, you watch it grow and flourish. And then at the end, it becomes this beautiful thing. Does that tree now owe the gardener something to repay for the life that the, the gardener gave it? Or is the gift that the tree gives to the gardener is to watch it grow because they love the tree? Why is it that there's parents out there that think that kids owe them something? Or they feel like their kids should feel a sense of guilt? It's because parents have a sense of entitlement and ownership over their children. And when they feel like they made an investment is when they feel like they want to cash out. And when their investment is not cashing out, they get upset and they call you the entitled one and the spoiled one. And they say this is wrong. This is what's wrong with families and societies. And this is different from doing things for your parents because you love and appreciate them because you care about them you want to be there for them because they are good parents but in the sense of feeling guilt or feel like how do you need to pay something back you don't owe your parents anything they owe you everything because like i said you're the tree that they grew for their own wants and needs you don't you don't need to give them anything back your gift to them is just by being here and whatever way you show up should be good enough for them message on my heart and i gotta say this okay I'm tired of these parents being entitled when the child gets older. A grown woman, grown man, when they no longer need you to take care of them, right? The foundation starts when a child is younger. You have to actually be active in a child life and be there for the child when they really need you, okay? Don't wait until they get adult and act like they obligated to talk to you, check on you, because where was you at when these kids really needed you? You was MIA. You know, kids need stuff. You know, when they growing up, they going to high school and all this, and they see other kids with stuff they wanted. So you have, and sometimes you have one parent breaking their back, but that parent had all these bills to pay and not getting help from the other parent, the other parent. MIA come around when they feel like it go months and years without seeing the kids and doing what they're supposed to do. They part-time, so yeah, the kid, the mother, one parent can't do it all, okay? So then you, then you have some kids that don't have neither parent doing what they want to do, and then when they get older as an adult, y'all want to come around and act entitled, like you got to call them, you got to get them type, all this type of respect, do all this other stuff. Then they act like they want to be a denial, act like they was there and they actually took care of you one whole time they didn't. Like, y'all parents got to do better. It starts when the child is first born. You have to build that foundation from them. I know some people can change, but come on now. Don't wait until these kids get adults, like grown in their 30s, 20s, or late 20s, 30s, you know, up there when they're capable of taking care of themselves, when they no longer need you to take care of them. Then you want to come around acting entitled, like your kids owe you something. They don't owe you nothing. You had your chance to raise them. You decided to be MIA. You missed out. And to hear a parent say, do you know what I sacrificed? Everything I gave up for you. If you were a parent that feels the need to constantly remind your child all that you do for them, I- Before we get into this, I must say, from one to 18, 
those are the most crucial years in a kid's life. And those are the years where you want to make everything fulfilling and just be there and try to do as much as you can so they can see the best in you so they can be the best in them. Automatically assume that you're not a good parent. A good person doesn't have to tell you constantly that they're a good person. They're just a good person. Just like a good parent doesn't have to constantly tell you how much of a good parent they are. They're just a good parent. Just like the previous creator said, your children don't owe you a goddamn thing. You laid there and got pregnant or got somebody pregnant. You decided to wait the nine full months for that baby to develop and you saw that baby be born. You took on the responsibility of feeding them and clothing them. All of that, that was you. You chose that. They never chose that. They ain't even know nothing. And let's be honest here, sometimes those gifts, those trips, those things that you paid for, those things that you did were just to replace the fact that you were a shitty parent, never validated their feelings or ever made them feel safe around you. So there's that, but whatever. I cannot stand parents who treat their kids like they owe them. Honey, your child don't owe you nothing. Your child didn't ask to be here. And then they'll say something like, well, when you get your first job, that first check belong to me. <laughs> Wait, what? Ain't nobody tell you to lay in that bed and get ugly in the face. Ain't nobody forced you to sleep with Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all in one weekend. That child did not force you to be a parent. Your bad decisions forced you to be a parent. Stop blaming your child and hold yourself accountable. At a certain age, you really just have to stop listening to your parents, like, not in a disrespectful way, but, like, their advice. Because some stuff, they obviously don't know what they're talking about because they aren't, like, sometimes they don't understand, like, you're trying to be better than them. Like, I honestly can't take advice from you because you're not where I'm trying to be. Like, no say, no disrespect. But, like, when talking about, like, relationships and stuff with my mom and, like, I'm, I'm telling her, like, oh, yeah, like, I need, like, a guy who, like, has money, like, not on something shallow, but it's just, like, I need a guy who has more than me because I need him to provide for me, da 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 like, she makes it seem like I'm just a terrible person and I'm just so focused on money and money is just the root of all evil. Even when I'm talking about, like, elevating my life and, like, making more money, she's like, not everything is about money. Like, it's just like a broke people mindset. Like, it's like, mom, you just have a negative outlook on money and, like, man providing for women. Like, it's really not bad. But it's like, parents don't understand that. Like, especially if they haven't experienced that. Listen, parents, I'm gonna be honest with you. For those parents out there that think that simply because you had a child and you did the bare minimum for them that they owe you everything you are sorely mistaken your child did not ask to be here you had playtime with somebody else and all of a sudden now you brought life into this world that do not mean that your child owes you a single thing that means you owe them everything and i don't just mean beating them putting a roof over their head putting clothes on their back that don't mean any of that that's the bare minimum and then there's those parents out there that sit there and say oh i sacrifice so much for my kid you sacrifice so much for your kid you 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 sacrificed you did this to yourself the least that you can do for the child that you brought into this world is make them happy make them feel loved this especially goes for all of those people that sit there and say the moment you turn 18 you're out no i'm not saying that you need to obviously coddle your kids past 18 or anything like that letting them live with you forever no that's meant to be their home you're meant to be their home and then the moment that they hit 18 you push them out who would ever want to stay in a home like that now what i could take from this is it's not a money thing the dynamic between the parents and kids has really not much to do with money because i see many rich parents just give their kids material things and it still leaves a distance between them and their kids dynamic as far as their the companionship is missing they're not there all the time so the time missing in between still leaves that same distance between them as if if it was somebody of coming from a lower income family and their parents is not doing that much or just have other things going and they just don't concentrate on raising their kid as far as you know the growth of their kid and they more in their survival mode you can get this kind of same dynamic so you guys let me know what you think down below and how do you feel on this situation as far as just minimal um bare minimum um parents and have you grew up like this and you let me know you know how do you feel about this whole situation until next time it's your boy mickey fenty aka mickey made it if you're new to this channel you know what to do to this channel subscribe